I never imagined that revealing my deepest secret to my wife would change my life so drastically. For years, I had kept my cross-dressing hidden from everyone, too afraid to let anyone in on this part of me. But one day, I mustered up the courage to tell my wife, and that's when everything changed. She surprised me with a makeover, transforming me into a beautiful woman I had only dreamed of becoming. And then, we went out in public together with me dressed as a woman. The experience was exhilarating and nerve-wracking all at once, and it opened up a whole new world of possibilities that I had never imagined. This is the story of how I discovered a new side of myself with the help of the person I love most. I had been with my wife for a while now, and I knew I had to tell her. I just didn't know how. It's not easy to tell the person you love that you enjoy cross-dressing, but I knew I had to do it. I couldn't keep it a secret forever. One day, I decided to tell her. I took her out for a nice dinner, and just as the dessert arrived, I took a deep breath and said, Honey, I have something to tell you. I could feel my heart racing, and I was sweating bullets. I couldn't even look at her. I just stared down at my plate. What is it? She asked, concern in her voice. I took another deep breath and finally said it. I like to cross-dress. There was a long pause, and I could feel my palms getting sweaty. This was it. I was about to lose her. But then, to my surprise, she started laughing. Is that it? She asked, still giggling. I looked up at her, confused. What do you mean, is that it? I'm telling you something serious here. She smiled at me and took my hand. I know, and I appreciate you telling me, but I've actually caught you cross-dressing before. I was shocked. You have? She nodded, still smiling. Yeah, a few times, but I didn't say anything because I wanted you to tell me on your own terms. I couldn't believe it. I'd been so scared to tell her, and she already knew. And not only that, she was accepting of it. I apologized profusely, thinking that she was going to divorce me or something. But she just looked at me with love in her eyes and said, I love it. I was taken aback. What do you mean you love it? I mean, what makes you excited about it? She asked. I hesitated for a moment before answering. I don't know, it's just something that I've always enjoyed. I love the feeling of wearing women's clothing, the way it fits me. It's like I'm a completely different person. She nodded, understandingly. I get it. It's like a form of self-expression for you, and as your wife, I support you. I couldn't believe how lucky I was to have such an understanding and loving wife. We spent the rest of the night talking about my cross-dressing and what it meant for our relationship. I felt like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders. As we left the restaurant, I felt like a new person. My wife's acceptance of my cross-dressing had given me a new sense of confidence that I had never felt before. As we walked home, my wife suddenly stopped and turned to face me. She placed her hands on my shoulders and looked deep into my eyes. Thank you for telling me, she said, her voice full of emotion. I was touched by her words, and I leaned in to kiss her. Our lips met, and I felt a rush of excitement and love coursing through my veins. I knew then that I had made the right decision in telling her. As we pulled away from each other, my wife looked at me with a sly grin. I'm going to surprise you tomorrow, she said, her eyes sparkling with mischief. What kind of surprise? I asked, intrigued. She just shook her head and smiled. You'll have to wait and see. We arrived home and my wife immediately went to bed, exhausted from our long day. I stayed up for a while thinking about what had happened that night. I couldn't believe how lucky I was to have such an understanding and supportive partner. Eventually, I went to bed, feeling content and happy. As I drifted off to sleep, I couldn't help but wonder what kind of surprise my wife had in store for me. But I knew that no matter what it was, I was ready for it. With her by my side, anything was possible. The next morning, I woke up to the sound of my wife bustling around in the kitchen. Honey, let's go out for breakfast, she said, poking her head into the bedroom. I groggily agreed, still half asleep. Sure, let me get ready. After I brushed my teeth, I came out to see my wife standing there with a mischievous smile on her face. I decide what you wear, she said, holding up a beautiful dress. 
I was embarrassed. I had never gone out in public cross-dressing before, and the thought made me nervous. But my wife was determined to make this a memorable experience. Let's make the first time a one to remember, she said, taking my hand and leading me to the bathroom. We spent the next hour getting ready, and my wife was like a kid in a candy store. She took charge of every aspect of my transformation, from the wig to the dress to the makeup. At first, I was nervous and unsure about everything. But as the transformation progressed, I began to feel more and more comfortable with the idea of going out in public dressed like a woman. The wig was the first thing she put on me, and it was a shock to see myself in the mirror with long, flowing hair. It wasn't my style, but I couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement and anticipation. Next came the dress. It was a beautiful, flowing gown that hugged my curves in all the right places. I was surprised at how well it fit me, and I couldn't help but feel like a true diva. As my wife applied the makeup, I couldn't help but feel like a new person. The bold red lipstick, the fluttering eyelashes, the soft blush on my cheeks. It was all so foreign to me, yet so exhilarating. But then came the problem of shoes. My usual men's shoes were not going to cut it with my new outfit. That's when my wife had an idea. She rummaged through her closet and pulled out a pair of black latex knee-high boots that were too big for her. She had been meaning to return them, but they might fit me. And they did. Perfectly. As soon as I slipped them on, I felt transformed once again. The boots were tight and hugged my legs in all the right places. They made me feel powerful, like a dominatrix. I asked my wife if I could wear a mask to cover my face, feeling a bit self-conscious. But she simply smiled and said, You look beautiful. You don't need that. I felt a sense of pride and confidence as we left the house and headed to the restaurant. Walking in my heels was a challenge, but my wife was there to support me every step of the way. As we walked into the restaurant, heads turned and people whispered. But I didn't care. I felt alive, like I was living out a fantasy that had been hidden away for far too long. I took a deep breath and put on my best female voice as I ordered a croissant from the female waiter. She smiled and commented on how pretty my makeup looked, which made me feel a sense of validation. We found a table outside, and I wanted to sit inside where I could blend in more easily. But my wife suggested sitting outside so that people could see how beautiful we both looked. As we sat there enjoying our breakfast, a couple walked past us. The man's eyes were fixed on me, and his girlfriend hit him on the back. I couldn't help but feel self-conscious and wondered if it was because he knew I was a man, but my wife reassured me and said it was because I looked sexy. As we finished our meal, I was still nervous and just wanted to get home. Walking in my heels was a challenge, but my wife was there to support me every step of the way. After we left the restaurant, I let out a sigh of relief. It was an intense experience, but also incredibly exhilarating. My wife could tell that I was still a bit on edge, so she suggested we go to the mall and try on some shoes. I was hesitant at first, but the thought of being able to wear something that wasn't practical or masculine was too tempting to resist. So we made our way to the shoe store, and a lovely female employee greeted us with a smile. We spent some time browsing the selection and picked out a few pairs to try on. It was a fun and bonding experience to try on shoes together, and we couldn't help but compliment each other on how sexy we looked. After trying on several pairs, we finally settled on two new pairs of shoes, one for each of us. As we made our purchase, I couldn't wait to get back home and try on my new shoes. It was exciting to have something new to add to my wardrobe, something that would allow me to express a side of myself that I had always kept hidden. As we walked out of the store, I felt a sense of freedom and confidence that I had never experienced before. I let out a deep breath and replied, It was amazing. I've always fantasized something like this. Thank you for suggesting it. My wife smiled at me and said, You're welcome. It was fun to see you step out of your comfort zone and try something new. And I have to say, you looked absolutely gorgeous in those heels. I blushed at her compliment and couldn't help but feel grateful for her support and acceptance. It wasn't easy for me to embrace this side of myself in public, but having her by my side made all the difference. As she got changed into something more comfortable, 
I couldn't wait to try on my new shoes. I went into the bedroom and slipped them on, admiring the way they looked on my feet. It was a small step, but one that made me feel more comfortable and confident in my own skin. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.